Hello everyone and welcome to Credit Finance. In today's video, I bring you an update regarding IRS tax refund update. The IRS has made a decision that impacts millions of taxpayers a week after they advise those in 21 states to delay filing their federal tax return. So we are going to take a look at that. We also have the next release date for the next batch of tax refund and we are days away from those tax return held under the PATH Act from being cleared for processing meanwhile as more tax returns are being processed and refund issued come reports of lower than expected refund. So we will take a look at some of the reasons why that is happening now moving on to those tax refund as an expected direct deposit refunds is scheduled to be released and transmitted by the IRS on February 13th as confirmed by the user submitted refund status results seen here to allow up until February 18th to receive that in your bank account. If you do not receive it after February 18th, confirm that your bank account information was correct on your tax return and complete IRS form 39112 initiate a payment trace training to develop news. As last week, the IRS instructed taxpayer in 21 states to delay filing their federal tax return while they determine whether or not those states' stimulus rebate and refund payments that were sent out last year were considered taxable income for the purpose of federal taxes. This was an announcement that came after the filing tax season began, which impacted millions including 16 million in California alone and also applied to the states such as Florida, Georgia, Illinois, New York, Pennsylvania, now, after a week awaiting, the IRS finally announced a decision late Friday indicating those state payments are in fact not taxable and that those in impacted states who receive those payments can in fact continue to file their taxes without reporting it on their tax return. We will just say this had the potential of being a huge problem that could have easily caused significant issues this year but again those state payments many of you received last year such inflation relief and refunds are not taxable turning into those tax returns as we are days away from having those whole plays on direct return due to the path act from being flipped and the indicators are that the first batch of impacted tax return claiming the earned income tax credit and additional child tax credit will be lifted on February 13th at the point those return can continue processing and refund being prepared for release. Now there are some discussion on whether or not the first refund from EITC or ACTC will be released on February 15th through the we don't think that will start to happen until this week. Of February 20, there also some misinformation going around social media that some taxpayer claiming the earned income tax credit have already received that refund and that is not true by law. This is simply not possible. And the IRS system prevent any of those applicant refund from the being released for beforehand, so as those tax returns are continuing to be processed and refund issued or coming instance. Here we are taxpayer are in carrying message such as these indicating the refund has been approved but has been reduced. Now there are a variety of factors behind this including incorrect earning of tax withheld being entered on a return and actually over 17 million tax returns filed last year contained IRS so it's unfortunately we are very common and if you are impacted you will see reference code number 9021 appear on your refund status result like seen here in many cases last year the irs automatically corrected the error without requiring the taxpayer to amend their tax returns however in some cases the irs will require additional information to correct the error once the irs corrects the error they will issue you out the cp12 notice detailing the exit air they found on the return as well as the new adjusted tax fund amount you will be receiving by direct deposit or mail. Now if you are encountering tax topic 203 when checking your refund status result as seen here it's as a result of one of several different reasons other than a math error such as past due child 
support past due state income tax debate, federal agency non-tax set or certain unemployment compensation debit out to your home state again this was encountered by a number of our viewers last year and we have already seen serial cases of its happening this year again the irs will issue you out a notice if you are impacted this also a reminder we are going to see lower refund issued this year is comparison uh, to the last two year because pandemic tax changes are in fact expiring the depending credit for the child tax credit payment in dropping from 3600 to $2000 while taxpayer claiming EITC without children will now get 500 instead of $1500 also child dependent care credit returning to a maximum of $2100 this year versus $8000 last year it's important to note this as some taxpayer are still not aware of these decreases let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax refund or tax return processing issue in the meanwhile we will keep monitoring this situation for further development so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down the below that's all the update that i have for today remember to turn on your notification button to know when i have uploaded a new video thanks for watching see you guys next time